guys, it's me, Christine, aka Vermeer Girl. <laughs> um, I am really excited because today I am gonna do a video tutorial on how to make a fall wreath at home. Um, I'm gonna help you figure out the materials you need, uh, and it's gonna be like a jute based um, design uh, as well as with some felt. Uh, so it should be fun, just something you could do at home uh, with some pretty basic materials. It shouldn't cost you more than like $10 um, to make it at home. Uh, I certainly have fun doing it myself, so um, hopefully you guys will too. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoy <laughs> and uh, walk you through it. Okay. dent in here so I actually just secured this here um, by tying it but what I'm gonna do put the gloves on first okay now we're ready to use this we're gonna hot glue that in place and then we're gonna do the same to the very end of this rope just so it won't um won't fall off okay so then we're just gonna start going we're gonna start going around um and you'll notice that one of the struggles with this craft which i i mean i really enjoy doing this craft but um, it can get frustrating because you have to keep looping the jute the main deal through here so you don't get all tangled up and stuff. I'm gonna kind of just speed this part of the video up uh, and I'll let you know how long it's going to take you. Um, this is um, no more than a foot in diameter to give you like an idea of how big it is. Um, you can obviously buy a huge wreath uh, styrofoam deal, but um, I, I wanted to work smaller for the purposes of this demonstration, so here we go. One thing I do want to mention on this is, um, you can kind of see here where I've got some gaps. I'm going to go around again um, towards the... Um, towards the latter part once I've made my way around, um, just to fill in those, those gaps. So another thing you can do is cut off a few yards of the jute. Um, it's a little easier than getting your roll the jute through again and again and again. Uh, it's easier to pull it all through. So it's a, just a little tip. Uh, 
Okay, so if you um, are doing what I'm doing here and go ahead and, and you know, you cut several yards of jute um, and now you're starting a new string, just, just do the same thing you did before. Tie, tie just a double knot. Or you can even just tie it and glue. Glue both ends down onto your wreath. gonna um, be able to see less mistakes on your finished product because of the natural look to it so if you do use something like yarn just be careful not to um, let your glue show too much just because it will <laughs> more easily show <laughs> almost done going around the first time um i cut quite a bit um more jute a few yards um to do one more once over filling in all the little gaps and things that accumulate the first wrap takes about 30 minutes or so so you know if you ever need to like grab a glass of water or something <laughs> like in between which i definitely have um you know, just go for it and uh, come back to your work later. Just remember not to leave your glue gun, you know, plugged in for hours. Like, it would be, it, it will burn. It, it will burn through the glue. So far, I've used about two and a half sticks of hot glue. So it's not a very um, glue intensive project if you're wrapping tight enough. It's taken me about 20 more minutes, all in all, to um, rewrap the areas that were still white with foam showing through. So um, we're almost ready to <laughs> move on to the next part. So when you're finishing your wreath, you can use a dab of hot glue on that last little bit and just try to tuck it in to the other layers. But now you can really see how there's very, very few, if at all, holes um, on here. So it really doesn't even look styrofoam anymore. So um, that's what you're going for, you know, when you're doing one of these at home. Um, I will say, jute is pretty messy. I am covered in this uh, lovely natural material, so you're gonna want to vacuum after, <laughs> break out that dust buster. Um, but uh, it looks so good. Like it'll be, it'll be just worth it <laughs> when you do it. Um, so anyway, you want to keep your hot glue gun on. Now you're ready for embellishments. Now, these little circles that you'll see are what some of my flowers are made out of on my shop. It's Eco 5 felt. It's made from 100% recycled water bottles. And um, the way I make these, let me grab a pen. 
Hold up. Okay, I'm back with my pen. Um, so you can use any pen really that will write on felt. This is just a little <laughs> tacky glue. You can see I've used it before though to make circles. Um, anyway, so you would, what you would do here is you'd want to make five circles. All right, then just cut them out. Okay, so now we have five of these little felt circles, about a little over an inch in diameter. We're gonna fold one. It won't stay folded, but uh, and fold a second one, and then we're gonna overlap them so they look like a completely open pac-man <laughs> if you want to think about it that way so um then you'll put a dab of hot glue where those two semicircles meet so that they will stay like this and then you will take a third one fold it in half Put it over the one that's over the bottom one and do a hot glue dab again. Okay, so now it should look a little bit like this. Like fortune cookies, kind of, <laughs> given the color that I'm using. Okay, and then on the crescent that, or the half moon that's on top of this, we're gonna fold a fourth one dab a hot glue on top of that semicircle. Put this little guy on top. So now you have a complete circle. Okay, and then this bottom one, we're gonna flip under so it kind of looks the same on all sides. We're gonna secure that last one down to the bottom one. So now really it, it's round and it uh, it's like kind of perpendicular lines going across. And then we're gonna take our fifth little circle. We're gonna fold it into quarters. Put a dab of hot glue on the corner here. We're gonna stick it in the center of this kind of staggered so it looks good. What you have here is a little flower. Just very simple, but um, makes a really cute little embellishment on your wreath. So I'm gonna take that and I already had this dahlia I showed you near the beginning. Um, and then I've got brown, little bit bigger version of this circle flower because they're gonna go on here and we're gonna kind of arrange them in a cute way. There's another, another one, but orange, another orange one. Okay, so before we do anything else, we are going to make a little bit of a hanger on here um, using some more jute. So, take a bit of this. looks best so I'm gonna go ahead and go from there with this. I like to do kind of an asymmetrical thing so I'm going to go ahead and put my main centerpiece flower kind of 
to the side here so it'll look super cute super fun um, and then just kind of play with that until I like the design so here's what I want to do I want to put my smaller orange one near my dahlia put this brown one here or no down here and smaller yellow finish it off with the bigger orange so I'm gonna go ahead and affix them now okay so here you have it it's our asymmetrical little floral fall wreath I'm really excited to get this on my front door I have a Halloween sign out right now um, but uh, It'll be November in a week and I'm gonna put this one out instead and we've got like some harvest decorations out there otherwise so it'll kind of just fit right in. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'll post down below uh, how long everything should take, how much materials you need. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please visit my Etsy shop if you're interested in more felt creations things like this um it's vermeer girl i also have a pattern website through etsy as well uh and uh you can follow me on instagram at vermeer girl shop and uh as well on uh facebook i have a vermeer girl uh fan page if you want to <laughs> be a fan uh if you liked my tutorial please give a thumbs up and um, then i know i'm on the right track uh anyway and i hope some of you get to make a fun fall wreath uh, at home. All right, thanks so much for watching. Ciao for now.